Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here. Welcome back to another 2010 FIFA World Cup qualifying series. Today we're going to be playing as Sri Lanka, as requested by, oh, basically just one person, Stickman, keeps uh, sort of requesting it all the time, but a few other people have as well alongside of it. Uh, I have already done a Sri Lanka gameplay, a standalone gameplay, if you are interested in seeing that. But I have never done a qualifying series with this team, so I'm going to try and do one here today. The only thing left to do is to randomise these groups. So I'm hoping I get a good group and not a massive group full of big nations in there. So in 3, 2, 1... Boom. And we are in a group with the UAE, Tajikistan and Palestine. I think that's fairly acceptable. The UAE being the biggest team in there and Tajikistan and Palestine being on the same level as Sri Lanka. As you can see from this squad, I just want to point out that most of these names are really, really hard to pronounce. I mean, this guy in the middle here, if he scores, I don't even know what on earth I'm going to be able to say. Like, what is it? Edribi Bananch or whatever his name is. I, I just embarrass myself saying that. And before we start, I always like to let you guys know on legendary difficulty, just for the people that do ask, it is the best way to play the game. So our first match is away from home against Tajikistan, a team that I don't really play that much on Asia qualifying. Well, I don't really think so. I don't think I've ever played as them on these World Cup games either. So we will have to visit the nation of Tajikistan very soon, I reckon, just to get a gameplay out of them. Here we go then, kicking off another World Cup series. I've done so many of this. I looked at the playlist uh, the other day and I realised that on the 2010 World Cup playlist, I've done over, like maybe 200 I think I've done of gameplays of this game it's absolutely wild how much I'm milking this game but as long as you guys are still liking it then of course I'm gonna keep coming back to it I just want to remind you guys as well if you are unfamiliar with the rest of the channel sometimes we do live streams of this game and other sports games all you have to do is be subscribed and click on notifications because then you'll be notified of when the streams are happening. I have used Sri Lanka before in the mini gameplay like I said at the start of this one. Oh no, Tajikistan, they've scored and that is 1-0. I saw that coming from a while, mile away. It is Mudhidrignov or however you say that and um, that was a decent ball into the box and a decent tap in as well. Oh here we go, Jayasora. And, um, well, there's a bit of an injury there. All I wanted to do is turn around and J.S. Sor Soria has been injured from that. I don't know how, but we've lost one of our, well, our star player already. Well, that's great, isn't it, for the run? I have to apologise as well if I do sound a little bit strange because I've got a bit of hay fever. It's summer in the UK and the flowers are attacking me, guys. I feel like a zombie on Plants vs. Zombies. Just getting attacked by plants. Oh, that was very close. Oh, that's a decent ball. And again, how do you hit the same area of the post twice in the space of 10 seconds? Sri Lanka now. Again, there we go. And it is 1-1. We had to score eventually because they were just letting us press. And in the 37th minute, we have equalised with Mohideen. Some of these names are so hard to pronounce on the fly. This is good play. And they scored again. Tajikistan basically just outplayed me there. And uh, Hakimov has scored to make it 2-1. Tajikistan back on top. Looks like we've got a bit of a good game here. They kind of do the same style of passing that I do. Is the game learning from me? Is this game's AI sentient? I hope not. <laughs> Mohideen. Back down to well it was going to go to that guy but he just completely left it is that like sort of a dummy <laughs> you're the only one that looked like a dummy on that play they keep crashing into me and they keep sort of like getting away with it most of the time if a, the ai or yourself crash into a player it's usually a foul but this referee is letting everything go up to you and then just shrugged off the ball this team have no sort of strength at the moment even against the little sides how are we gonna contest against the mighty UAE well it's the 82nd minute and we haven't done anything to be that inspiring going forward Tajikistan have locked down and 
kind of thought to themselves probably like, yep, yeah, this will do, a 2-1. Ever since we scored the equaliser, Sri Lanka have fallen off and yeah, just not an impressive display here at all. Not happy with them in this match. They shouldn't be losing really, considering that I really did try hard to get back into the game. But Tajikistan were just locked down and yeah, well, that's not a great start. They could be one of the teams that don't qualify in this first round. It does happen sometimes. Some teams are just n built not the way that you want them to. All right, then. Second match at home is against the UAE. Now, I am worried because they are bigger than us by star rating and they have good talent as well. We played as the UAE before. If you want to check that gameplay out, just type it in the search bar or something like that. The only hope I have, though, is that the UAE have lost 1-0 against Palestine. So their form will be in the mud as well as us. So it's going to be one of those games, I think, where, you know, both teams are slightly out of form. Down to you. Go on. Oh, that was unlucky. But there we go. We just scored. And that was so lucky that the ball sort of sat up like that. And the goalkeeper didn't actually get it. It's 1-0 to Sri Lanka. Turn around there. Expertly turned. The shot was quite nice as well to set himself up like that from the turn. And I don't know why the UAE keeper couldn't just sort of try and pounce on it a bit better on whatever. Or palm it out for a corner ball and that's going to be mopped up by the UAE booted out surprising that we're still in their final third really playing about and actually making good plays because the UAE are much better than us go through ball here it's Latif oh that was just straight the keeper didn't really want that want it to the side or something oh this is good play though by Sri Lanka again oh, off the post how unlucky can you get Header and it's saved. He had the open goal and he hit it again and it hit the post. So it's half time and Sri Lanka are surprisingly leading the UAE 1-0. Do they want to show their fans that they're ready to bounce back after that not very inspiring performance against Tajikistan? Palestine have taken the lead against Tajikistan. Maybe Palestine are that team. That team that could actually go through with us and push Puk Kamara has scored the second goal for Sri Lanka. I had to say that really slowly because pronunciation isn't my strong point. We've scored again. He somehow shrugged those UAE defenders off and it's 2-0. Sri Lanka on to a very good victory here. 30 minutes left to play. The UAE are in all sorts of trouble right now. <laughs> ready to drop two games in a row. If they drop another one, they're in real danger of getting eliminated from qualifying. And they're one of the strongest teams in the group, if not the strongest. UAE, go for it. Ooh, that was kind of close. That's probably their first real attempt at the game. Not going to lie. Our Hamadi, crossed in, headed away. Al Janabi. Al Saidi, tackled. Didn't have any room to manoeuvre there. And over the top. And here comes Muradin. He could get the third. Sri Lanka could get a third. It has. They've got third. Against the UAE. In the 90, well, 89th minute. And masterful performance from Sri Lanka. I was so worried after the first game. That this team would just roll over for everybody in the group. Now we're 3-0 up against the UAE. That game against Palestine must have really knocked their form. And now we've knocked it back again. So if they lose against Tajikistan in the final, well not final, but the third game. Imagine what is going on here. Go for it. Oh, that was a poor shot. But yeah, absolutely incredible performance from Sri Lanka. I'm very happy with them. And hopefully we can take this momentum into the next game. I think... Probably against Palestine, unless the fixtures are different. Third match against the league leader, well, group leaders, I should say, Palestine. They've got six points from two games, unbeaten. Can we break that to get up there alongside of them at the top of the table? What can we do to capitalise on the form that we got against the UAE? I hope we can just breeze past Palestine. I mean, look at this guy here. He's really trying to battle past that defence there. And that guy who's up top has replaced the injured uh, person that we had. Don't ask me any names because I don't actually know any of them. 
the chance for Sri Lanka. Yes, we scored just before half time, and it is 1 0. It took a long time coming, but Push Pakamara has scored to make it 1 0. Basic goal, you know, just turn away from the defender as usual on 2010 and just tap it in. It took a while though, like it took 45 whole minutes to break down Palestine. Push Pakamara on the ball here. I'm quite surprised that I can actually say that properly. And Tajikistan have just equalised against the UAE. Wow. I mean, the UAE, a horrible campaign at the moment. Really terrible for them. They should be performing a lot better. Tajikistan are 2-1 up over the UAE. That is actually crazy. I know I keep mentioning it in this video, but it's crazy. <laughs> it's actually legit crazy how they're about to drop three games in a row. To these minnows. Oh, what a save. I thought that was actually going to go in. But the keeper palmed it over with one hand. Moadine, he skipped past this man and now he's running. Is there a second goal here? It is a second goal. That's game over. Palestine have been beaten. And Moadine has scored basically the game winner right there. We struggled for most of that match to get a second goal. Even the first goal took 45 minutes, and here we are. We're winning 2-0. So good turnaround from Sri Lanka to win two games now on the bounce. Oh, poor pass by Palestine there. And that's a third. That pass was terrible, and it's straight to Push Pakamara, who has scored the third. That's another 3-0 win for Sri Lanka. That was a gifted goal, to be fair. Look at this. Straight to me here. Picked it up. And this is the reserve like striker coming off the bench for that injured player and actually scoring goals. There we go. 3-0 against Palestine. And we move on to the next game, which I believe is against Palestine, but this time away from home. It's actually crazy how close this group is. Everybody, apart from the UAE, are on six points. That is mad. It's not over for the UAE. They can still win free on the bounce and get into those top two positions. I think though for us, if we win one more game and maybe draw another one, we'll be safe. 10 points is about the level you want to hit in this kind of situation. Here we go then, away from home against Palestine. What's quite interesting to me is that um, on the home screen for... Palestine's home stadium it lists their home stadium as Doha which I know is a city in Qatar right so are we playing in Qatar because of what's happening in Palestine or is there a place in Palestine called Doha um I don't know I don't really know um my ins and outs of cities and stuff like that go on over the top here beautiful ball oh just wide that volley was nice but just skim past the post Crossed in, headed away. Oh, no, 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 no. Good tackle there. Again, another half an hour where we've been locked defensively after a couple of shots. The first 10 minutes was really explosive and then now it's really calmed down. Go on, through ball. Yeah, there we go. Massive gap there. We exploited it hard and good save. Okay. Well, it's half time and Sri Lanka and Palestine are locked level. Will it continue like this? I think the other game as well between Tajikistan and the Emirates are locked level as well. So, you know, that's not too bad for the group. The group will be exactly the same pretty much. Over the top here, Abdul Latifa. Can we tackle him? No, we haven't. And he scored. Poor defending there by the left back. And Abdul Latifa has scored to make it 1-0. I don't know how he just managed to stroll his way past. Maybe a strong player. But that that defender there just got shown up. That was a bit strange. I thought the referee got in the way of that. He might have done. Oh, it's offside. Oh, it's just this kind of situation where no matter how the game tries to help you, it's just not working. Palestine doing whatever it takes. Whatever it takes to snatch that top spot away from us again. Come on. 
off the post and in. Yes, how lucky was that? How super lucky was that? It looked like we were about to lose. And Moadine has scored an important 90th minute equaliser. Off the post, hits the goalkeeper and goes in. Tragic for Palestine, but elation for Sri Lanka as that point will help. It will help massively because Tajikistan has dropped points now. Please don't let them score. It's literally the 90th minute plus seven right now. Just boot it away. It doesn't matter where. And there we go. It's 1-1 one, one versus Palestine. Not bad. I'll take it. Considering that the game just didn't want us to score. Um, we got super lucky at the end. Fifth match of qualifying is against Tajikistan. They've only just been beaten 5-0 by the UAE. Who look to be on the comeback trail for that second place spot. If we beat Tajikistan, we have all but qualified, I reckon. But if we don't, then we're in a bit of trouble. Because look at the group. It's quite close, isn't it? Oh, we've got Jay Asora back for this match now. He is a star player. We'll give him a run. But the guy who was in before... Push Pakamara. He was actually really good, and I think I should keep using him, but we'll see what happens. We can't fall into the same trap we did in the first match against Tajikistan and just let them do whatever they want because we just couldn't tackle them. We've got form now, we've got a bit more stats behind us, so we should be able to win this match. That was a good pass. Moedin. Moedin. He scores, and that is 1-0. That was such a good pass. I love those kind of passes on FIFA 10, 2010 World Cup. You know, the over-the-top through ball is so overpowered. But when it works, it works a treat. And that is 1-0. Palestine are taking the lead against UAE. If they win that game, UAE's qualification hopes are over. 100% over. Half-time, 1-0 up. I mean, pretty good so far. But we just want... A couple more goals to cement this and then if we win this one we're pretty much qualified for the next stage of qualification. I've taken off Jay Asuria because I kind of prefer Push Pakamara. His form is just really good so far. Um, Jay Asuria not too great. He's still sort of red even though it's higher than his usual stats. Push Pakamara is just unreal at the moment so I think that we need to keep playing him. Because look at this, he's already provided a potential assist, and he has! That is 2-0 already, literally instant impact from coming off the bench, he's come on and provided an assist, because he's too strong. He's way too strong at the moment for some of these smaller defenders to deal with. Through ball, Muradin out to the wing here, confusing the players, that's going to be a penalty, I saw that coming as soon as he slid. And that is going to be game over for Tajikistan, pretty much. They've kind of, well, they're trying to throw away their chances, aren't they, of actually, like, qualifying. Push Pakamara with the penalty. I think I put that, yeah, that was a bit too much in the yellow there. The bar now kind of, like, lags sometimes on this game. I don't know why, but my timing on it is really terrible. Palestine are now 2 nil up on the UAE. This is crazy how... The smaller sides have taken control of the group and the biggest team and the favourite to go through has completely just failed in every single way to go through. Because in real life that would have been a given for the UAE, right? Surely the UAE would have just destroyed everybody in that group. But no, it's just not been like it. That's a third goal for Sri Lanka. Push Pakamara has scored coming off the bench. An assist and a goal. What a day it is for him. And that's going to be a 3-0 win for Sri Lanka. Very well done from Sri Lanka. We've pretty much qualified as you can see from the celebrations there. We're into the next round of qualifying. So job well done. They're not going to be a casualty of this group. They have been fantastic for about 90% of this run, apart from the first game. They weren't very good in the first game. So looking at the table then, Sri Lanka and Palestine have basically booked their place in the next round, which is incredible considering, like I said, it should have been the Emirates, but they have failed to do anything but just get a win here in this qualifying 
group. Here we are then, away from home against the UAE. Nothing really matters in this match, but I'd like to beat them just to cement a really good qualifying campaign for us and a terrible qualifying campaign for them. Trying to push his way past. And that was a really dodgy clearance. He could have scored an own goal there. UAE pressing. Almari. Oh, good save. It's not been the most interesting of halves. Barely any chances, really, apart from the UAE having two shots now. But Sri Lanka still haven't really done anything. But they don't need to. There's no pressure. Oh, my God. This match has been so boring, honestly. Just a lot of fouls and everything like that. It's so pointless when you've already qualified. You should be able to simulate it. But sadly on this game, there's no simulation tool. Cost in and the UAE has scored. There we go. That's what they've been looking for. Al Janavi has scored in the 80th minute to make it 1-0. And to be honest, I don't think Sri Lanka are really that bothered, to be honest. It just feels like we haven't had... That many chances. So, yeah, it's just been one of those games where, you know, you just don't particularly care about winning because you're already through. And here comes another through ball, and UAE have scored again. Wow, they've really picked us apart here. In the last, like, two minutes, they've just scored twice. Crossed in, and that's a terrible header. Thankfully, that game is over. I mean, the UAE can have that. They've been embarrassing the whole of qualification. They've lost against every team, single team in the group. They only picked up two wins, one against us and one against uh, Tajikistan, a 5-0. So they can have that. I was basically a charity case at that point. So we've already qualified. Um, I'm really happy about that. All right, then. So this is our group for the next round. We have Uzbekistan, Lebanon. Korea Republic and Iraq. You know what? That's actually not that bad. Even though we're still the smallest team in this group, Uzbekistan and Lebanon and Iraq are beatable. Not too sure about South Korea, but we'll see. We'll see how we get on. And just to look at Group A, Group A is Australia, Hong Kong, Iran, Saudi Arabia and Palestine. So three of the big boys in that group. And two minnows. So it's not going to look good for Hong Kong and Palestine in that group. But tune in next time to see all that in the next video. I really hope that you enjoyed this first part of Sri Lanka's World Cup 2010 qualification. If you did, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always. And I'll see you again for the next video. Baby